Imagine finding your way without GPS. Not with a map, not with a compass, but with atoms. Sounds like Star Trek, but it's real. And it's coming. So what is it? What is this new device that's gonna replace GPSs in the future? Here's the setup, guys. On a lab bench, there's a little chamber with what scientists call a cloud of rubidium atoms. <laughs> Basically, a microscopic puff of gas from a soft metal called rubidium. You can't see it, but it's floating there in a vacuum, completely still, and it's not a fart. <laughs> <laughs> this device can still measure movement, however, in three directions at the same time, forward, back, side to side, up and down. It's called an atom interferometer, which is just a fancy way of saying it watches how atoms react when devices move, and then turns that into insanely accurate position data. Most sensors like this can only check one direction at a time. This one, however, gets the full 3D picture instantaneously. Why is that exciting? Because GPS fails in tunnels, That's underwater, true. underground, or in space. This could help planes, drones, submarines, even Mars rovers find their way without ever talking to one satellite. It's still a big lab machine right now, but the dream is to shrink it down so it can be used in the real world. For me, you, and everybody else. <laughs> so how does it work? It's kind of complicated, but bear with me, guys. Step one, slow the atoms down. They blast that tiny gas cloud with lasers. Not to heat it, but to cool it until the atoms are moving slower than a snail in molasses. Slow atoms are easier to measure. Step two, split the cloud. More lasers push half the atoms one way and half the other in the other way, like sending them on two slightly different trips. Step three, bring them back together. When the two groups meet again, they make an interference pattern, kind of like ripples on a pond overlapping. That pattern reveals exactly how the device has moved. To get movement in all directions, they use six lasers. Six laser beams arranged in crisscross light cage patterns all around the atom so it could sense every single possible shift. And because the real world is messy, they train AI to find the perfect laser setting so that the data stays crystal clear and quick. Right now, the whole thing needs a vacuum chamber and delicate optics, but they're already working on a rugged and portable versions. So stay tuned for those. I think, I think if they pull that off, it's huge. No more GPS signal loss when you really need that signal. I mean, drones could fly in blackout zones, subs could navigate the deep ocean, and explorers could map caves without leaving breadcrumbs. Basically, you could drop this thing anywhere on Earth and you would still know exactly where you are. Ooh. So what does Bruce think? Well, the real wow moment will be the first time they take it outside the lab. No GPS, no maps, just atoms and lasers, and it nails a complex route. That's when people will realize navigation just had its moon landing. Anyways, what do you guys think? Drop your thoughts and comments. We actually read them. And if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe and give it a like. That's how we feel the love. Our next story is just as cute and interesting. So stay tuned and until next time. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs>